So hi everyone, welcome to you all in my other video. And today video again with Faria, we are, this is our second video. First video was we record she uh, doing that master's in medical biotechnology, you know. So if you are in, from your country and you are looking a, to study in Australia, so uh, uh, you can, that is basically a good course. Um, uh, is a job prospect and future for research, you know. So uh, everything we discussed in my previous video, but this video is about uh, she is working as a assistant pharmacist. So how she got this job and what actually they do, you know, as, as a uh, assistant pharmacist, you know. So a few questions again, I'm going to ask you because you always ask me these questions, you know. And if you are not yet subscribed my videos, please subscribe so I can make more videos for you. And my name is Dr. Akram Hamad. I'm a lecturer here and as a uh, working as a hospital scientist, so I always make videos basically. I uh, you know so. Uh, welcome for you uh, in, in our another video. And um, thank you, sir. Thank you. thank you again for giving me the opportunity, and I'm very much pleased to you as well. Actually, you know, we are recording this video at uh, almost 10 p.m. because she was working, uh, she just came, you know. So I just request her to give a, another short interview because you know, she worked uh, like eight hours in, in the pharmacy. And she just, you know, she's very, very tired. I can understand. And thank you for... No, no um, issues, sir. It's my pleasure. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, uh, can you please, uh, again, give you a brief introduction again? Uh, basically, she's from Bangladesh. She completed bachelor degree, yeah. master degree from Bangladesh, and she's doing master degree here. So, I, I if, if you can a little bit explain yourself. Yeah, basically, uh, I'm a pharmacist from Bangladesh, and uh, I've completed my Bachelor of Pharmacy as well as Master of Pharmacy from University of Dhaka. And now I'm here to uh, do my another master's in Master of Medical Biotechnology. So uh, in my last video, maybe uh, I didn't uh, mention that. Uh, basically, Master of Medical Biotechnology is under the peer list, but uh, you have to do, that means I have to do, perform one year uh, job experience to apply for the peer. Uh, but Master of Medical Biotechnology is uh, under the peer list as well, uh, actually. Actually, the bio actually, biotechnology, it is in the list. I was also thinking today, record one video in that, you know. So if you did your bachelor degree in, in biomedical or biotechnology, you are eligible, but you need one year experience then you have to exactly. go for a school assessment yeah 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 that's great okay so um basically here um, i as as a, i was a pharmacist in my country so my passion was actually oriented uh, uh, yes, around the pharmacy or my career was oriented like this though i'm now doing a uh, master of medical biotechnology which is slightly different from uh, our sector okay no issue so uh, actually after arriving in uh, australia i just started to search for my uh, job uh, just uh, the next day i arrive here oh, okay so uh, before that i didn't actually apply and even i don't have any um, idea uh, what type of job I can apply or where I have to apply. So after uh, arriving here, I started to search uh, for uh, in Google, to be very frank, in Google, I searched uh, which uh, platform should be um, uh, good for me or where I should apply so that I can be picked up. Okay. So that, uh, that time I found that uh, Seek is a uh, platform and as well as LinkedIn is the platform where I can update my profile and I always maintain my LinkedIn profile as well. So um, I started to apply my um, I started to apply on Seek as well as updated my CV on Seek uh, Seek and also some skill assessment I have done there. So uh, after uh, applying, um, no, maybe I mean, after. Uh... Uh, so, uh, did you change your CV uh, uh, to Australia uh, standard, or you you use the same CV as well you was in the Bangladesh you, when you were applying? No, no, that? no. Actually, uh, I was searching uh, which type of um, skills actually they are looking for. So yes. uh, uh, then after that, uh, I was um, searching for my own. Okay. Yes. So uh, I found that there there something need to be changed so that I can be picked up easily. That's so why I changed is, my uh, this CV very, according to that. Yeah. This is very important if you are coming from your country in Australia. Now you want to apply a job. So you have to see which role you are going to apply. For example, assistant pharmacist, pharmacy technician or pharmacist or whatever, you know then uh, what is the job profile for them you know so so something you know you have to link uh, to the target that, that your cv 
your experience, you can say that your previous experience, your degree is matched for this particular job, then only uh, they might be shortlisted and uh, for call you for interview or something. Otherwise, you know, uh, if you use the same, same CV for all the jobs, you will not get any job, you know. That's exactly. Right. Actually, that will not work as well. So um, after searching for a few days, I found that um, I should apply for a pharmacy assistant because mm -hmm. uh, I thought uh, that would be the easiest way for me to get into the um, health sector of Australia. That's why I was um, changed my CV according to their requirement. And um, for some um, company, I found that they were requiring some other type of uh, skills, okay? So uh, I was searching, okay, fine, am I eligible for it? Then uh, I found that, okay, fine, I'm eligible. So why not I can change my CV as well according to their own, um, according to their requirement. So uh, actually from company to company, I have changed my CV and I have dropped my CV. And after applying uh, about one week um, after applying, uh, I got a call from a pharmacy here, and that was uh, for the first time I <laughs> I appeared here as a, yes. as a candidate. So that was so um, so unusual uh, for me as well because I didn't know uh, actually the environment as well because I just arrived here about one week ago. So yeah. after uh, applying for few days later, within about 15, uh, fourteen days maybe fourteen or thirteen days, uh, I got another call and um, that was my first job. That's uh, still I'm uh, maintaining and okay, as well yeah. as. After after joining here, I got the call from the first one, but actually uh, I was, I was, as I was committed to a, uh, to a pharmacy, that's why I didn't actually switch on. Okay. So uh, she and, basically uh, just got two interviews and both are she selected. There's one question is that you applied online, all these jobs, or you also visited some of the pharmacy uh, them? Physical. No, no, sir. Basically, uh, I only applied for online. Okay, whether their whether their uh, own platform or on the Seek or in LinkedIn. Okay, uh, during uh, no, I didn't apply through LinkedIn. I updated profile on LinkedIn, but I only applied on the Seek as well as um, some of the companies on their own website. And without uh, actually, I didn't visit any of the pharmacy here because uh, actually I didn't have any idea. Okay. That's why I was only actually, um, using are, uh, the online platform. But I can say you are very lucky you came this time, you know, because the main reason a uh, lot of people they are looking right now because last three years due to COVID, they are closed. So all the international students that uh, cannot come to Australia because all the assistant, international students, they work as a part-time as a pharmacy assistant. So many of the pharmacy they need right now. Right? Uh, like if you have like 500 students coming here as a pharmacist and they are doing whatever they are doing, MPH, MSW or biotechnology, whatever, you can get job right now, you know? So that's why you are basically lucky, you are came basically at the right time. That's why you give two interviews and both of you are selected. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe and uh, good luck for me <laughs> was that time. Definitely. And this is also and, uh, very good. I just came. You know, she yeah. don't know basically. I just came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I just one minute. She don't know basically anything. So she just Googled, you know. So, and she also exactly. target the CV each company. So each company, whatever they are asking, she's little bit changed. And it has to be then she applying, you know, so this is a very good approach. So you, you applying for five jobs, so definitely you have to change your CV for uh, according to the, and the, the, the requirement, you know, what they're asking. Definitely, they, because, you know, most of the time here, when you are applying a job, the uh, human, I mean, that the HR are not looking your CV. Basically, there is a software, they, uh, they add some uh, keyword, for example, pharmacy technician, um, uh, this and that five keyword they put. If your CV have the five keyword, the system will take uh, pick up this five keyword and your so short your CV will be shortlisted. Then they will see oh this guy and this girl is you know then they will call. So this is how you know Australia works. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly, and I uh, actually I didn't know even I just yes. uh, when hear it and know it from you. And oh. this way actually I changed my CV. 
yes maybe sorry i picked yeah. it up <laughs> I, yeah. i didn't know it well this is the first time i hear because you know i am very much uh, unknown no, with yeah, this very, you are very well. smart basically you just came on second day onwards you are looking a job you start searching and you change your cv and you are looking you know this very very uh, I, i'm very basically happy you know so all the student basically you have to do your own effort Yeah, and no one is here to help you and you you can help basically yourself you know you have to be prepared um, exactly, sir. Be... And I think that is more important because no one besides me about the pharmacy profession maybe you are the first person i know here about <laughs> the pharmacy background and i'm very much lucky and fortunate to know you as well Oh. and no one knows what type of job i had to apply or which sector i have to uh, choose because i am a pharmacist from a different country so yeah. i would like to actually ask for all of the um, students who are actually um, planning yeah. to come to australia basically uh, i'd like to uh, tell them that uh, always passionate about your uh, own dream okay and always focus on your own dream doesn't matter whatever other uh, environment is always focus on your own dream so it will actually uh, come to you as well because so I, i came here uh, about 4th of february and i just uh, uh, picked up and i got my first uh, job about 17th of february okay within one so day definitely before. i was fortunate definitely i uh, i'll thank allah for this uh, yeah. but mm, and uh, as i was uh, i just came to know that uh, this type of uh, keyword actually they are searching but i didn't know but i oh, have applied yeah, this uh, way this is uh, mostly uh, they do because lot, lot of big companies they don't have it like 100 people are applying they will not see the all 100 cv so uh, for you what actually you do what, what is the mean that pharmacy assistant what basically they do in pharmacy can you please uh, basically my idea? um Mm, my designation is pharmacy assistant and yes. uh, basically uh, during the whole day we have to perform uh, to serve our customers uh, yes. with their prescription as well as um, uh, serving them with the over the counter that means otc drug oh, yeah. as OTC well drug. as yeah uh, and uh, basically um, we are uh, performing our jobs to uh serve our um, patient with uh, some some of the like um, compounding pharmacy as well as the retail pharmacy type of work okay yeah. so here uh, both of the um, activities basically we uh, cover who are working as a pharmacy assistant like the compounding pharmacist as well as the retail pharmacist yeah so and uh, you, can yeah. you uh, give us um, what is the normal uh, uh, salary range for the pharmacy assistant they are paying right now It's like twenty to yeah, thirty, twenty uh, to twenty-five. Yeah, for pharmacy assistant, uh, I think um, as I applied through the seek and I found that most of the companies are uh, offering about twenty-three to twenty-seven. Yes, okay, twenty-three I mean, to twenty-seven is the uh, most standard one, and I think uh, this is good for starting a, a pharmacy very assistant. Very good, basically. Many of the students they are coming here in Australia, they are studying, but they are working as a Uber driver. You are not coming here as a. Uh, you are not coming. This is not your dream. You are a yeah, professional exactly. pharmacist. You must work in your own profession. Even even though you are getting a little bit low salary, you can work one extra hour. that doesn't matter you know yeah, so don't exactly. don't go those those odd jobs you are getting you know so you must work in a pharmacy you are coming to become a pharmacist nostalgia you know so this is your dream basically that you are not not coming for here to just deliver the food this and that you are making your money you know i know a lot of the student they are doing that job that job is not bad i'm not saying the bad job but you are a basically qualified pharmacist you know so you have to work yeah, in so pharmacy. we have the opportunity to grab this so yes. why don't we uh, grab this opportunity isn't yes, it yes 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 actually earlier a lot of the student uh, tried to get a job uh, two year back it was very difficult at that time i know many student but right now uh, when you are applying within one week you uh, you can get uh, the job so for you uh, uh, at the end you want to say something do you want to come to australia or want to work as a uh, pharmacy assistant in australia yeah definitely yeah, right. definitely and i would like to um, uh, actually appreciate all the students who are uh, passionate about their own career as well as a pharmacist and if they want to come to australia then it would be a great opportunity opportunity for them at this moment because they are actually uh, expanding their uh, health sector in a in a vast uh, way so if they want to come 
this is the perfect time to come as well as i'd like to tell them what i have already mentioned that don't uh, forget your passion as well as don't forget your dream okay yes. just uh, focus on your dream it will, it will come definitely it will come definitely. one day okay then for you thank you so much um, um uh, will complete here if you have any question please leave a comment below i will reply and please like and subscribe my videos so i can make videos for you and thank you for your thank you sir thank you as well